Do you have a metal roof like this that you need to attach gutters to? Follow along as we attach 90 feet of gutters to both sides of the back of our barn. We did trips to Home Depot for our supplies and we decided we would work with uh, 30 foot lengths since there was just two of us. You kind of just pry open that end, slide one into the other. We had a two inch overlap. We used uh, gutter sealant and riveted all our uh, joining spots. And uh, like I said, we did two or three tons to work with 30 feet at one time since it was just the two of us. The straps come in, everything in the gutters come in four inch or five inch. Be sure what you buy. We accidentally bought both and had to take some back. We were working with four inch gutters. We hung our straps every two feet in the gutter and we actually put placed them and, and put them on ahead of time so we didn't have to do them in the air. Then when we got up to the roof, you see he does have a rubber washers there and he would just attach it to the roof. There he has a uh, 30 foot length up and he's finishing attaching it. You will see after you get all your gutters up that they have some sway, some play, especially when we had a, as much length as we had. So we came up with these braces. We put the braces every 15 feet under the gutters and we just found these metal, or metal straps at Home Depot. He cut them and files them so that what he had measured from the gutter to the barn. And then you'll see we place them under the gutter and attach them to where we can and are on our barn. They really help with the sway and help stabilize the gutters a little bit and stop some of the twist you're, we're, we were getting in our 30, uh, 30 feet. So we have, uh, we did it with just the two of us. We did it in two weekends. 90 foot each section and two, se two sections, and two trips to Home Depot. Total cost was between eight and $900. We, uh, on our 90 feet total, the pitch flow was about uh, one inch every 30 feet. So you have to have, of course, that little flow so that it hits the downspout. The downspouts are just regular downspouts. You buy a little section for the end and you attach the bottom and you can see that those braces really helps uh, keep it in line keep the gutter in line downspouts you just cut you measure cut them to where you need them to be and there we have it a long ways on the bottom because our hay is stored right there and we wanted to empty out past the hay we did find these two concrete uh, bases for the downspouts there at a yard sale for like 10 bucks each. So those will help direct the water when it reaches the bottom there. If you have any comments, leave them below. If you've done a project like this and have any other suggestions, leave those below. And also, as an active real estate agent, I would, I would suggest that you keep a book with receipts and information on your projects. It's a great thing for you to reference back to. And also, if you decide to sell in the future, it's a great thing to give to a, a future buyer. Follow for more real estate tips, area information, ranchette lifestyle.